Okay, so I think it's working. Now I just... Yeah, it should be working. Let me check. Okay, it looks okay. Okay, so hello everyone and welcome to this live stream. So in this live stream I've I have um, set myself as a goal to try to make steering work for a um, physics-based car. So I've seen that um, there are there have been mul multiple people that have been asking how to do steering on a physics-based car because what I've done before is let's see here where was that. Um, I actually made a suspension for the car but I didn't make steering so that's what I'm trying to I will try to do now so let's see where was that motorcycle not this one hover no so as you can see I've got some projects that are in development but well, not quite let's see rotate Uh, was it in the other uh, well with suspension this is the one so let's open this one up and let's see what it does okay so we've got wheel with suspension here so well we're going to be trying to do is rotate this uh, when steering so let's <coughs> let's look at the, the structure let's get this down a bit okay so we've got suspension so what I've done here is let's look at the physics constraint first let me check something here okay. <coughs> Okay, so let's look at this uh, physics constraint. So if you look here, okay, see linear motor. So that means it's trying to keep the wheel in place. And on the Z axis, okay, so this. <coughs> so this suspension uh, is actually very simple. It just uh, lets the wheel move up and down. Okay, so uh usually well there are a lot of kinds of suspensions i've, I've actually looked for this <coughs> on the internet so depending on the type of the car you have different types of suspensions so the one that actually um lets the wheel rotate like this the one that just lets it move up and down and this well other types of suspensions but this one is uh, really the simple one it just um, wait let's just grab this so it just leaves the wheel moving up and down and tries to keep it in place here so I think we'll just try to use this one and we'll see how it goes now I've done something which I'm probably gonna use now I've actually tried to make a um, uh, with, uh, motorcycle okay and I have made this blueprint for the motorcycle and well let's see how it goes because it's actually it shouldn't be difficult to do 
because I've already kind of done it but uh, last time I tried to make it it didn't actually work I'm not sure why so let's see how this worked then it's just loading got some tea I hope <coughs> this stream will go a bit smoother smoother than the last one last one I got stressed and I'm trying to keep this one chill okay so let's see what we've done here so I think this is already working wait but I have to play it <coughs> like this oh okay <laughs> so let me see so if I accelerate and I think it's already steering let's see yeah so as you can see it kind of already steers the motorcycle hmm yeah, the problem is, well, the motorcycle is a lot more complicated because it has to um, balance. So as you can see, it doesn't quite work here, but yeah, I have to make this one another time. So it does tear. Uh, so we'll have to apply this to our car. Okay, so let's look at this, how I've implemented this. So first thing we've got to use, uh, I have to use Let's see, okay So we have to use uh, an actor which is a character actually So we have the camera on him and the controls So let's look at that <coughs> I've done a little bit of uh, of blueprint here. So which one? Okay, so this is for the accelera acceleration, if I remember correctly. Ah, uh, no, wait, wait, no. This is for steering. So this is the one we're gonna use. Set angular orientation. So when we're trying to steer, uh. When we're trying to steer, we're actually, we have two solutions. Either we can set the angular orientation for, so let's go back. Wait, so let me just, just give me a second here. I'll do something off screen. And I'll come back to you. a second Okay, just a second.
Okay. So let's see here. <coughs> so here I've used, let's see how front wheel and so I've used this one right here. So actually the, the, the steering should work exactly like, like here, but we have to, when we do it uh, on the car, we actually have to use both wheels. So we'll see how it goes. Okay, so front wheel axis, let's see here. So this is the the physics constraint that holds the wheel in place exactly like here. It's almost the same thing, I think. So twist motion here is, is free. Oh uh, wait. Uh which one? Yeah, let's see here. Wait, I think I have not added suspension for this one. Yeah. So, yeah, I don't think it's important, but was, uh, yeah, so this is just keeping it in place here and it's linking it to the uh, fork. Okay. And I think the fork right here, did I use something? Yeah, so I use the fork. Yeah, so the steering I actually do with the fork. I'm rotating the fork. So let's see here. Angular orientation. Yes, as you can see from front fork axis. So we're taking this one front fork axis. So the one the physics constraint that uh, links the fork to the body and <coughs> we're setting the rotation the orientation of the fork uh, in relation to the body so let's switch here to local I think wait ah yeah so it's vertical okay so it doesn't actually matter so the fork will move, move like this sorry not like that like this Okay, and the wheel moves with it. Okay, so when I'm steering, I'm actually rotating this like this. Okay, so this is exactly what happens here. Set angular orientation, and if you look here on the front fork axis, we go down to the settings. We have, it's trying to keep a target orientation with a force of 5000 and this one we're modifying here. So now we have actually two, uh, because we used a physics constraint here to keep the fork at that, uh, in a certain orientation, then we can use a target orientation, but if we've just didn't use the fork, we could have used set um, static mesh rotation actually. Okay, so let's see here. Let's go back. So we could have used set rotation. So we set the rotation like this 35 degrees and it would have worked. Okay, now the, the nice thing about this Just a second.
Okay. Okay, so I think we'll just use this. Would it be easier to actually use the entire actor? Let me see here. Yeah, so this is very simple. I can copy the spring arm and the camera. So the thing is that camera, it's not rotating. I would have liked to make it rotate with the mouse, but well, I don't know exactly how to do that. It's done, it's done in the character. I would like to figure out sometime, but it's not the scope of this live stream. So let's see here, input axis, move forward. So this is actually the acceleration. Yeah, so that's just, just the camera will we'll copy it from here. Let's see. So this one, default scene root. Uh, let's see here. I don't like that these are not parented to each other. Uh, so I think we'll close this and we go back. We'll go back to the springboard. Which one is that? So let's see here. Wheel with suspension. We'll take this map. So we'll come back here. And we'll have to change this so it's a character, right? So if we go, actually, we can change this without changing. Uh, without redoing the entire actor. So if we put here parent class character Or was it pawn? I think it was pawn Wait, we couldn't uh, No, it should be pawn actually Pawn Like that Let's compile and save So now if we want to make it steer uh first well we have to uh possess it so let's see i'll just take well uh, let's see auto receive input i'll put player zero here and this one will disable it Yeah, disabled, okay, that's good. So if we play, uh, if we play, it doesn't catch on. I'm not sure why. Let's see. No, it's actually auto possessed player, this one here. Let's play again. No. Why doesn't it work? Hmm. That should have worked, maybe because we don't have a camera. Okay, so let's go back to the... What was that? The motorcycle, right? So, take this. So we have the motorcycle that was working. So actually, should work the same. Could, yeah. Wait, yeah. This is actually already working here, so... Let's see. So we'll take the camera and the spring arm. The body, we don't care about it. So we'll put it here. We'll parent it to the base, right? This one is the base. So if we compile now and try again, it doesn't possess it. Why? Let's see. Auto possess. 
I'll put this to disable like this. Okay, so I think it's possessing it now. Let's see again. Yeah. It's just that is the orientation that is wrong. Let's see this again. Have the spring arm here, camera here. Well, we have a scale problem. Let's see. Put this to zero, uh, one, sorry. Yeah, of course, because our base is scaled. Uh, you know what? We just control Z everything. Could we? I just. I'll put this like this and just go back to one. Okay. And we just lift this up and the camera should be here. I think that should be okay now. Let's see. Wait, no. And that is... Why does it not want to work? Let's put this to location zero, just like that. Let's try again now. So the problem is it's not moving. So yeah, okay. So it has to be parented to the base. But the problem is that the base is scaled up. So you know what? We'll just put the scale to one, I don't care. It will be a boxy car, like that. So now, if we, of course, it means it, this means it will have lower stability, but uh, we just don't care now. Okay, so we'll parent it to the box, to the base. This should have worked, but I don't care now. Let's see again. Play. Okay. So it works. Let's just get this up a bit. Come on. World. Like that. Again now. Okay, so that's working. Let's take this further a bit. And we'll actually act. Oh, it should be here. That's why it wasn't working. Oh man. Zero, zero, zero. And now moving back. And let's put the spring arm to. Uh, where was that? We'll adjust camera probe arm. Oops, uh, Enable camera lag. Okay, so it doesn't bounce too much. So that's good. I don't know why it's placed there, but it's, yeah, it's ah, it's because it should be rotated the other way around. Wait, no, not like this. Let's. Oh, come on. Spring arm. Like that, I think. Should be okay now. Yeah, you know what? That's okay. Okay, that's fine. Okay, so now what we want to do <coughs> is have this steer. Let's look back to the motorcycle. Okay, so we had this the steering wheel which was rotating, uh, and with this we can actually copy it, but without this here. Let's see, angular rotation, so we just copy back and from yeah 
So we just create a variable so we remember the position that we're trying to steer it in. Let's see, create a variable here. So it was rotation, right? Rotation, rotator. Uh, let's see here, we'll just get rid of these. And here we'll copy this and it should work because the variable is already there. I will, okay. The name didn't take, so let's copy it again. Okay. Compile, so we'll just copy this. Yeah. Okay, so it works now. So, wait. It's, yeah, because it needs a target. So, what we're do doing is when we're moving right or left, of course, uh, we're taking the amount that we're moving and we're uh, adding it or sub subtracting from the target Z. Uh, the the rotation on the z-axis and then uh, we're applying it again and we're copying the other rotations okay and we're applying to the uh, angular orientation target so let's see but here let's see if we uh, angular orientation I don't think it will work here because we're using uh, of course, uh, you know what? We don't care. We we'll just copy this, just so that it will compile. So let's get back to this. So we need the this to rotate like that. Okay. Now the wheel. Well, axis four. So this is the one. It's just it's letting it rotate, uh, move up and down. But we cannot uh, have it rotate. Mm, let's see here. Uh, can we use this? Maybe we can use this. Let's see. So it's, yeah, because we've got, we have actually got two um, physics constraints here. I forgot. So we have one, it's the wheel around which, it's the axis around which the wheel rotates. And the other one is the suspension. Okay. So the suspension keeps it up and down and the wheel axis keeps it here. And I think we can use target orientation on the on the uh, Z axis. Yes. So Z swing here this one. <coughs> And yeah, so actually, so we have to, uh, which one? So we need it to be free. Oh, wait. Yeah, we can actually use either this or that. So let's see here. If we want it to rotate, we have to free it. Okay, so we have to free it not like this, but in the other plane. So we have to free it on the in the horizontal plane. You can act, you can't actually see it here, but it's this one. Okay, so now it can rotate like this and in the vertical plane um, in on the in the vert around the vertical axis so now let's see so we'll put a target orientation for the motorcycle 
I've used uh, for this, I've used 5000. So let's see here, 5000. But of course, it depends on the masses, but we'll see. And uh, I think it should be okay. And the wheel axis 4, we'll use this one. So just wheel axis 4, like that. And target orientation, well, that should be good, right? So if I play now, if I, and if I, I think, I think it rotated by itself. Hmm. Let me see. Was the target orientation zero, right? Uh, let's see what went wrong because here let's see if you know what let's bring the motorcycle into the scene okay and we'll possess that and we'll look at that right why rotate like this So let's make this possess player zero. Let's disable this and let's try again. Wait, wait, wait. I'm not sure why the camera stays in place like that and understand, but so this is actually steering as you can see here. So we're taking the front fork axis, which is this one, and we're rotating like that. Uh, wait, wait, wait. So this one, we're rotating like that. Okay, let's see what doesn't work here. Well, first of all, let's see the spring arm. The spring arm is not, we should rotate it more. But I don't like the, the angle because I don't see the right wheel. Uh, let's, uh, let's possess this one again. Let's move the motorcycle. Player zero and this one disabled. Okay. <laughs> Okay, so it does actually move, but the problem is that is the other wheel. So it's actually the, well, yeah, let's do the same. Okay, so we've got the wheel moving, but it's the other wheel. Okay, so let's see the fourth wheel. So this is actually how we're looking at like this is the if we look at it like this, so we're moving this wheel. Uh, we don't have a front and a back, so we don't care actually. So let's do the same thing for, sorry, I'll just close the motorcycle. And let's do the same thing here. Let's set an angular rotation and we'll take, so we need, the f if we've got the fourth wheel, when it did when it this one, which is wheel, uh, I should have organized this better. It's just wheel, simple wheel, right? Wheel axis. Okay, this one. So we need to free the movement. Uh, why is it free on each axis? That's weird. It should be locked, right? Let's look, wait. Ah, okay, so the linear limits, okay, we, we, we care about these, the linear limits are free, yeah. Okay, so these, we have to free this one, so it wrote, the, it, we can set the target orientation and go here, set a target orientation on the Z, and, ah, uh, yeah, we have a problem here. Yeah, or is it? 
let's see, so 5,000. And they should move together. If I put this here, we axis like that. Position target, we just copy this one. So they should move together right now. Let's see, play and yeah, so I'm steering. The left one doesn't work. Not sure why. The left, when I go left, it doesn't subtract. Uh, it should work, right? Let's let's try again. Left. Yeah, it works. So we're steering, but let's just rotate this so it steers. So we actually go downhill. Yeah, so the problem that we're getting now, yeah, because we probably have to use another physics constraint for this. So the problem that we're getting now is that, <laughs> it's a, yeah, the wheels are not rolling. And that's because if you look here, which doesn't matter which. So again, we've got one physics constraint that lets the wheel rotate on the axis and actually lets it rotate well in the vertical plane and in the horizontal plane that's because we've set the target orientation and the other one is suspension okay so lets it move only up and down well actually limits it up and down it's more complicated but the problem here is that when we set the target orientation here, we actually set it for each axis. So that's that's a problem because let's see. Because when we try to steer, we should let the car rotate, uh, the wheel rotate normally in the vertical plane. So let's see. Hey, Ziloda N. Hey, hi, how are you? Uh, welcome to the stream. Uh, so we're tr I'm trying to figure out uh, how to do the steering. Well, actually, I've actually done it on, on the motorcycle that I've uh, shown, uh, this one. But for the car, it's a little bit more complicated. Yeah, well, the thing is, it's not actually difficult to do. It's very simple because what I've done here with the motorcycle, have you seen it or did you come bef after that? Well, um, well let's, let's keep get back to the motorcycle for a bit. So let's disable this. I'll activate this one, okay, and just uh, let's get, move this, make this bigger, right? So if we try again now, so as you can see, if you look at the wheel, it actually rotates, it steers, yeah, right? But the problem is that the motorcycle is, doesn't stay. Uh, <laughs> It doesn't stay upright because, uh, well, it's more complicated. Uh, it just, it's more complicated. I was working on that, so yeah. The thing is that here with the motorcycle, what I've done is I've actually two physics constraint. One that for the fork, right? So one, if you look at the fork, it only rotates like this, right? That's the only thing it does. And the other one is that it holds the wheel in the fork and only lets it rotate like that. So it's just an axis. So it's just two rotation axes, one here in a vertical plane and one here, as you see this one, in the horizontal plane. So here it's just simple because I've got this only free in uh, the the horizontal plane is just simple to limit it here and that's it right um, now 
what happens here with the car is that yeah as you said I've got two of uh, these active and mm, I'm not sure how to do well you know what we could just set the wheel orientation well, let me let me think a bit so we let me see so yeah for one one for the fork and the other one for the wheel maybe by doing a fake mesh for the suspension to it yeah of course it's totally doable i've actually used this uh if you use a fake mesh you just uh, put uh, an invisible mesh there it's totally doable but you, in an actual car you wouldn't have to use a fake mesh because usually ha you have a suspension or an axis or rotation axis so you you would use that but yeah you could totally do it so uh, but I think let me let me let's see about this because I think we could do it like this but maybe it's maybe we have to use another physics constraint I don't know let's see so let's think about it because when you have multiple physics constraints that act on a single object like we have here we have the wheel axis and the suspension so both of them are acting on the same object well two objects these so what they do is they individually they limit one aspect and the other one they leave free okay so the real axis uh well we have twist motion that it's actually uh, which one was twist i can remember yeah this one so if we rotate we don't care we don't need to rotate like that so it's locked but if you look at the linear limits they're actually free and that's because the other one the suspension is locking them and these are free here okay so let me see let's see how can we do this if i use another physics constraint uh i think we yeah i think that's the solution so we put the swing motion yeah that's that's the solution so we put the swing motion here so let's look at it uh, so this one that is free now it's normal rotation of the wheel and this one is uh, let's lock this one so it's in, in the vertical plane so the steering is this one so let's put it to free actually we don't use this here so we yeah we're gonna have to use another physics constraint so yeah that's you can't i think you can't do it without it so we'll just use let's duplicate this one so uh, wheel axis we'll see pc well that's for from physics constraints so we'll say wheel turning right okay so first of all we leave everything free right because the other ones are limiting the movement we don't care well if there is one physics constraint that is limiting something then, then it's good we don't have to limit for the other ones uh, so now <coughs> so free everything and now we'll go here let's see wait, wait. so it's between this one is this one so it's already configured right let's see uh, so we'll wait we can't do it can't we can't we can we mm. target velocity of zero wait wait why do we have target velocity of zero for the swing wait i think i've done something wrong here swing This is not good, right? Uh, hmm. 
Ah, yeah. Okay, so target velocity. This is because we've got friction going on. Yes, yeah, so we don't care about the, the force. Yeah, it's the friction. Okay, so let's go back. So we got wheel turning, right? So the problem is the same. <coughs> Let's see here. So we got swing, so it will limit. Um, yeah, not sure we can do it. Hmm. Yeah, so we have to probably use a fake. <coughs> Sorry, just get some tea. Yeah, so we probably have to use. <coughs> A fake mesh for that because I don't see how we could do it we, we need another object yeah so let's see uh, man this is a mess so let's just get, add the cube um, <coughs> so since we're actually doing this I think we can make the suspension with this one so it doesn't move yeah probably let's see so we'll call this suspension rod right put this to 0 0.05 I think let's see where it is okay that's pretty small. Yeah, I think we're forced to use this. Um, <coughs> we're forced to use this because um, because the physics constraints are limiting the movement just between two objects and just it's beyond their capability. So let's see here, location, 30 minus 34, 43, wait. It was minus, right? That's the problem. And, well, we don't care about that one. I'll put it here. So, the wheel axis, let's think this again now. First, I'm thinking of something. We could actually get away with this. No, but actually this could be... can right click on a property and copy it like this ah yeah okay didn't know about that one we'll just control c control c control v yeah thanks cool uh okay so now there is one thing we can put this mesh to be a child of the body and we can actually reference it in the physics constraints with the physics constraints uh, separate uh, separately. So the physics constraint could actually reference this one, even it's, if it's a, a child of this one. But I don't know we, how it would work. Uh, and we could, and the other one, physics constraint could reference the body itself. Hmm. Not sure about that. Okay, so let's see. I've got too many things here. Uh, 
so what we could do is have the well let's see the suspension actually we could have the suspension be this one click on the location ah this one right click ah that's cool okay that's a real time saver okay thanks a lot that's cool okay didn't know about that one that's nice thanks okay so let's see we've got the suspension so i'm thinking the suspension we can have this rod move like this and the wheel would stay on the rod itself and not move at all and the whole well so wait they would actually move like wait and i can't i can take both wait 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 uh wheel access so it, they would move like this it doesn't want to move anyway they will move together so let's see the suspension will have this between the suspension rod mm, the base and the suspension rod like this right so this, and so this is now moving as a suspension and then we have wheel axis that we put uh, between the suspension rod so wheel axis between the suspension rod and the wheel so like this all right uh, so now the wheel turning would be uh, between the suspension so we actually we might be able to do this here directly so if let's delete the wheel turning and I think we can turn it with the suspension rod itself with the physics constraint at the suspension rod uh, which is this one right so because we're not yeah exactly because the only thing so this one is only used for the linear limits we don't care about the angular limits so we could limit them all so let's see we'll put here suspension oh wait not the linear limits we'll activate the angular limits like this and then we'll put here wait sorry this one what was the swing wait let me see uh, suspension let's limit everything so we know what we're so the one that we're looking for is yeah this one so the swing one motion actually leave free well we could li limit the rotation actually let's see so we'll leave only free this one and here we'll put here to 5000 let's see and that should actually work and if we look we go back to our blueprint instead of this one we'll put the which the suspension right let's see if it works wait so this is the motorcycle let's possess it with this one okay of course we have problems and that's because we haven't set this <coughs> so this one should simulate physics right and do we have a collision problem 
let's see, suspension here. Yeah, we have to check disable collision. That's what that was the problem. So now we got this. Which one was that? So this is the left one, right? So let's rotate, so it's looking from here, wheel suspension, wait, let's just, let's just simulate because I don't know which ones, So the wheel, it's this one, so we'll have to rotate the camera. I don't like that we have to rotate the camera, but I, I don't wanna. Nah, so it's looking uh, this way. I don't quite understand what I don't see. Let's just rotate like that, we see what, um, let's just play. Yeah, so I think there is, the suspension is not strong enough to keep the wheel, uh, the suspension rod in place. Let's see this again. So suspension here and we've got locked on the, on the Z motion, it's free. Uh, limited actually. That's good, right? Hmm, don't understand what's happening. So the Z motion is which one? Up and down, that's, uh, that's okay. So let's put this to 5000 here. Velocity target, yeah, that's for damping, okay. So let's see here, I think we have a problem, ah, of course, yeah, because the linear limits here, we actually lo have to lock everything, that's because the wheel will have to stay in place, right, not move at all, only rotate, okay, so let's see this again, so the other, the other one is turning, this one not, it's not turning, and I think, yeah, it's, we need a um, bigger weight for this one. So we'll just copy the wheel. So when you see that an object is pushing into another object when it's held down by physics constraint, and you don't know why, because the physics constraint, it's actually really strong. It should keep it. That's because the mass, it's get, the forces get scaled by the masses, the uh, the difference between the masses of the two objects so because this one has 0 0.2 the bigger object the object with the more mass would actually push into it no matter the force let's see now okay so now it looks good but it doesn't quite rotate ah, yeah, it does rotate yeah and that rotate a bit but not too much. Okay. Does rotate a bit. Yeah. Uh, so I think we might have the same problem with the mass. Let's see, 150. And this is 1000 kilos. Mm. Let's see, suspension. <coughs> Mm. Um. Wheel axis suspension here we got five thousand. 
let's put this 10,000 right so this is the force that it uses to keep the wheel at a certain rotation in the horizontal plane so now it works now it's kept in place because this one is not rotating so that's normal <coughs> So let's just uh, get back to this one here. <coughs> and uh, we'll just not rotate this one. Well, no, actually, let's do the same thing. So we'll duplicate this suspension rod, duplicate, and we'll have it. Uh, Suspension rod four. It's because it's a fourth wheel here, right? And let's just move it here. Now, the same thing goes here. So wheel axis will have to be between the suspension rod. Okay. Suspension rod four. So we'll put it here. Okay, and then we'll lock this. And this here is just gonna be free. Uh, not that one. This, uh, sorry, that one actually. So in the vertical plane, that's good. Disable this. That's okay. Okay, and the suspension for just take this. Uh, was uh, between the base and the suspension wheel. Okay, <coughs> and the rotation. So, what did we do there? Let's lock this, okay. And then keep this and add here twist and swing of 10,000. Right. That should be good. And then in the event here, we'll put PC suspension 4. Mm, that's probably okay. I would think maybe. Might have missed something, but we'll see. Ah, of course, yeah. So we have.